Hello everyone, my name is Antoine and welcome to another video on the channel and today we have an iPhone 7 as you can see I'm not going to show you the model you can see from the camera that is an iPhone 7 with a Wi-Fi problem Wi-Fi button grayed out as you can see you can jump to the control center and you can see that the Wi-Fi is grayed out and the Bluetooth is working but it actually does not work I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to show you in the Wi-Fi as you can see the button uh, Wi-Fi button is grayed out and Bluetooth is just keep surging for Bluetooth devices and it's basically not working. I'm also going to show you in the about that there is no Wi-Fi address in the phone. Let me just put my hand over here. Okay, here we go. Address of Wi-Fi NA, which is not present. Uh, and they say that uh, this device has been already in another service and they already changed the Wi-Fi. So I don't know what the heck is going on. We are going to remove the body. Uh, sorry, we are, we are going to remove the board from the body and see what the hell is going on with this device. So, let's go. Okay, now that we removed the board from the body, and we are going to see what the hell the other service has done. Let me just focus the camera. And here we go. This is the first side of the board course it's going to be a very clean because the job is oh shit from the other side as you can see they already removed the NAND to unbind the Wi-Fi the capacitor is just not there a lot of flux nasty work they already removed the Wi-Fi my guess is that they already removed the Wi-Fi because they removed the NAND to unbind it and they already done the jumpers a lot of flux uh, I'm just curious about uh, what's under the anti-heat stickers. I'm just going to remove it and uh, just out of curiosity to see what the hell is going on because I had a very, uh, very, very nasty phone. Also came uh, an audio codec, I guess, an iPhone 7 and it, it got a lot of uh, flux under the anti-heat sticker. So. I'm just curious to see what the hell they've done because obviously a lot of flux they've all the shithole what the hell is this i mean they they didn't even remove the anti-heat stickers i mean what the hell is this <laughs> holy shit man holy smokes and they say why the wi-fi is not working i mean guys guys look at this shit Oh my god, a lot of flux and it's just sticky. It's obviously a flux and a lot of flux. I mean, what the hell is this? Even if it's worked like for a week or a month, it's still a very nasty job. I would done it. I mean, what the hell is this? It's just what the hell. It's a very nasty job. Ah, oh, shit. Let me just see. Nice holding iron. Uh, it's 100% flux. I mean, why? Why I'm just? Why I'm trying? <laughs> Holy smokes! Going to smoke. Yep, yep, yep. It's flux and very, very bad flux. Uh, I'm not using that kind of flux to uh, remove an IC or to solder an IC back. I mean, what the hell is this? It's a very nasty job. And we are going to, again, do the work from the beginning, remove the Wi-Fi and remove the NAND to see if it's abundant or not. So, let's go to work. See you after our work is done. Let's go.
Okay, now we are going to check if the Wi-Fi is unlocked or not. And today I'm using my WL uh, PCIe NAND programmer for the iPhone 6S up to iPhone 7 Plus. And we are going to run the software for it, which is also the WL software. You can download it from the WL8888.net. And I'm running the version 3 something, I guess. And I know there has been a new method to unlock uh, the Wi-Fi even without removing the NAND by using the DCSD cable, uh, but uh, it is too late. I already purchased the GCC2 dongle, uh, which is also, uh, we are going to use it as a DCSD cable. And I'm going to show you that uh, in the future videos. Uh, without even removing the NAND, but today we are, <laughs> are stuck with uh, this programmer and I'm also going to blur a couple of sensitive information which are uh, the uh, serial number and the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth due to privacy and I'm going to show you how to unbond the Wi-Fi and we are going to check if the Wi-Fi is unlocked or not. Here we go the read and write and here we go as you can see the uh, program is reading the NAND and it says the capacity is uh, 128 gigabytes and you have to click on the PCI unbound Wi-Fi as you can see the PCIe uh, Wi-Fi is uh, unlocked here we go and again query information and we have to check again and let me just check something now we are going to uh, choose the model the right model for our iPhone 7 which my guess is it is a Qualcomm version let me just check again okay let's just Press the PCIe again, unlocked, okay. Now we are going to choose the uh, iPhone model, which is in my case, A1660, Qualcomm version, red, but we don't have the red option. So I'm going to go with, let me guess, silver or gold. Yeah, let me go with the silver. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the silver one just to check if the Wi-Fi is unlocked. Here we go the Information and as you can see uh, the Wi-Fi is unlocked. So we are good to go
Okay, now that our work is done, let me just connect the battery over here and test our work. And waiting for the phone to boot up, here we go. And I also would like to mention that I already changed the Wi-Fi, so uh, to make sure that everything is okay, I did not make just a wibble for the Wi-Fi, so I need to make sure that everything will go without any problem. And here we go, pressing the home button, and as you can see, immediately shows that there is a Wi-Fi, and it's connected to a Wi-Fi network, which is our Wi-Fi network. And as you can see, uh, it is a little weak because there is no uh, antenna Wi-Fi. It's okay. Let's go and try to open a web page on Safari. Here we go. Let's just search anything. And let me just go to Google. And here we go. Yep. Oh, as you can see, the time is... Uh, not correct we can just go to settings and make sure that it's set on automatic and here we go let's go again to safari as you can see the notification is popping up because uh, it is connected to a wi-fi network and as you can see there is a internet and everything went back to normal and let's go and check also the bluetooth from the control center and as you can see, everything is working okay. So thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. And as always, stay safe and have a good day.